Back in the day, it used to be easy. Everything was just kind of one size, you know? And so, pretty much anything that you were building was to be retrofitted into something like this. That had a block that was roughly the same size. And you could drop this in here, and it'd be just fine. And it'd be just fine in the back, too. Likewise, you could do it with our original block. And it was just fine including in the back here. So we modified that block and used it for the auto latch. And as you can see, it fits just fine and dandy with plenty of room to move around. But things change. Now if we take a look at this bridge right here that we can see was made in Germany by Schaller, well the back of it is not quite as long as an original Floyd Rose. And yeah, it's got the Germany stamp, so it's a real one. As a result, even the Floyd won't fit. You see how we're hanging over the edge? You're going to have the same issue with either of the Steelers, but it does not stop there because you see we've got wood down here. Now remember, that's our regular block that was designed to go inside that fender route. But because we have this wood here, well, that's not going to fit in there no matter what. This is why we developed the fat brass block. Fits without a hitch. Let's try another one. This Charvel was made for Jackson JT6 and it's one of the few that actually has a rear route so that you can pull up. Now if we take a really good close look we can see that there's room for that JT6 but if we just try to put a regular Floyd Rose and set it down on here well you know what this hangs over a bit and it certainly stopped by a little bit of extra wood there. The new Steeler is no exception. It as well would not fit on this funky JT6 route. Now you can modify it and that's just fine. Now what I have here is an Ibanez S. This is one of the Japanese ones made in 91 made for a low pro Ibanez edge. And there's the low pro edge in the body of this Ibanez S. Got it from the back here and you can see that it's sitting there right below the route. Let's get a look at how the Steeler Professional with the standard block fits in there. Well hey that looks great right? Yeah there's just one problem. We can see now that that block is sticking way up out of the body cavity. If we look at this Ibanez edge block right here it's got this funky little doohickey to hold these springs in. Now if we take a set of calipers right here and we measure this thing, we're going to find out that this is a really weird proprietary Ibanez size. Our standard sizes are 32, 37, and 42. So there are millimeters right there. And as I measure that thing, you can see that it's just under 34. Now it's right about 35, 35 and a half when the springs are sticking up from underneath this little plate. That is part of the reason that when Gary Kaler made the big brass block, he recessed these things. So now if we measure the Kaler block, with that little thing on there, we've got 33... 0.38. However, if we add one stacker plate, we've got 38.21, which is close enough to 37 to where it'll fit. We add the second and the last plate, and then we're looking at 43 almost even. Therefore, with the plate on, it'll hold the springs in, and it'll still fit. And you know what? If you want to be a real stickler, you can pull the plate off, and the springs will be fine. Unless you use this. The Godiva absolutely 100% has to have this retainer plate on because if you pull up, you can actually go further pulling up than you can with the standard plate and the springs will pop out. So you have to have that retainer plate on. Now the brass stacker plates also fit the Godiva. So both the Godiva and the Blunt Fatty can be either a 37 or a 42 or even all the way down to a 32 because they each come with two BS plates. All of these blocks, no matter if they're the Auto Latch, the Standard, the Godiva, or the Blunt Fatty, are all made out of 360 half hard brass. Not all brass is created the same. So let's see how this thing fits. So as we can see it sits in there fine, 
But what does it look like on the back? Remember, last time it was sticking way the heck out there. But this time it is not. It's well within tolerance to where we can use this bridge.